fucking stupid. Listen, please, don't don't lock me off. I'm not these dickhead youths, you know. Don't lock me off like that. Wait, do you know how many youths will take the piss out of me? And like you said, that we're over. Why your wishes will come on, man. It is what it is. I hope you enjoy your life. I hope you do your fucking thing, trust me. If you don't, you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. I hope that you flip and throw away a good one, I promise you. Before I start, I want to make it clear that I'm not trying to benefit from this in any way or form, so I've opted to turn off the monetizing of this video, so I won't be earning any money by showing this. I was more than comfortable in not releasing anything and moving forward, as I felt that the post that I'd made on my Instagram was more than enough in stating that my relationship was over. And despite the many, many rumours that I must have cheated or disrespected him in some sort of way, it didn't faze me and it was inevitable that people were going to talk. I was just ready to move on. But with what has come to light today, I'm, I'm done protecting him and I feel that he needs help. I want to personally take the time to apologise for withholding the reasons why a relationship came to an end. At the time I felt there was some sort of serenity in keeping the last bit of our relationship private but now I need people, specifically young men and women, to know that I would never want anybody to stay in an unhealthy situation regardless of how public it is. When I met Terrell, it was nothing short of a dream and I take responsibility for that because I believe I walked into his his life so headstrong in knowing what I wanted in a relationship and for my future and I was clear in saying don't ask me to be your girl unless you see yourself marrying me and when that didn't scare him off I thought I'd hit the jackpot and now looking back I feel like there were plenty telltale signs that could have saved me from being here but that I chose to overlook. I saw this community loving gentleman and I fell head over heels in love with him. The only problem with that picture was it was just that, a facade that I believe he was trying to keep up in being a reformed gang member turned YouTube sensation and when he couldn't keep that up anymore everything changed. I'm not the type of person to give up on you if I love you and I don't make decisions based off of my emotions. So for 10 months before our relationship ended I was very sensitive to his needs and catering to him as best I could in making sure that he was okay because I was made to believe that he wasn't mentally okay. At the beginning of the year I had made it clear that he would have to come and visit me more often as my mum had had major surgery and I would be caring for her. He didn't come. When my grandmother died, I got more support from you guys and by then it had gotten to the point of me being so tired that I just simply didn't expect anything of him. I didn't expect him to call to check if I was okay. I didn't expect him to come and see me before I left to go to South Africa. I didn't expect to see him when I got back from South Africa. All of which he didn't do anyway. He had become everything he said he wasn't and I was falling out of love with the person that I had originally met. Terrell is a very violent person and I've been present for one too many incidents that have left me scared. And I now have this image in my head of him turning up to my house with a gun and tapping on my window. I have nightmares. He's very manipulative and for a long time I had tried to break up with him and he was, he kept finding ways to come back until I put a stop to it. I honestly felt like if I hadn't, I'd be living in fear of this person and he'd keep me in this box where he'd check if I was okay and that I was still his. 
and once he was sure he'd shut the box again and that's not how I wanted to live. He became mentally abusive especially when I would try to break up with him. He would tell me that nobody would treat me the way he would and that I would be miserable without him for the rest of my life. He loves attention whether it be good or bad and I may be a social media influencer but I I don't do controversy and I grew to learn how much he thrived off it and it's something that I I overlooked. Why I chose to make this video today is simply because the womanly instincts that I had but chose to ignore were actually right. I got a very rude awakening this afternoon in the form of a DM. This wasn't the first time that I'd received something of this nature as it had happened a lot leading up to the end of our relationship. So somebody by the name of Hackers or Us sent me a barrage of terrible snaps saying that they had hacked his snapchat and that they wanted to show me that he wasn't faithful throughout our relationship and it was of intimate conversations with girls that he had told me not to worry about. I may not be perfect but I was the best girlfriend to that man. I loved him unconditionally, flaws and all. But when things started to surface and I noticed how much I had compromised despite being such a strong independent woman, I had to check myself and be like, Nikita you don't deserve this. I knew I had to get back to living for me and loving me because that's how I came into the relationship. I didn't abandon him in a time of need, I merely chose to walk away after a very long-winded fight on my part. So to his exes, I'm sorry for not trusting his word and believing that this was the first time he had treated a lady with honour. I'm sorry for believing that you were all the ones that had something wrong with you. And I'm sorry that you had to see our relationship pan out so publicly. To the ladies that he cheated on me with, be it emotionally or physically. I can only hope that you got what you wanted and my only request would be that you would dig deep in learning to love yourself so much that you don't seek the love of a taken man but rather expect the love of a king and to terror. I'm sorry for not listening to you when you said humans would be humans and that everybody messes up. You are right though in saying that I deserve the best because I do. I pray that you get the help that you need because it's not nice to watch you self-sabotaging everything you've built for the sake of social media and to your mum. You became like my second mum and you welcomed me into your home like I was your own and I will never forget the memories that we created together. I love you and I will miss you and I will always be praying for you and Ty. To my family, I'm sorry I let him into our love and for asking you to open up your hearts and your homes to him. There was no knowing then what I know now and to you guys. I'm sorry that I've had to make this video. Like I said, I would never want anybody to stay in an unhealthy situation. Regardless of who it's with, who's watching, or how public it is. And I can't reiterate that it's okay to walk away. Because you will be fine. I'm fine. And I'm so ready for what my future holds. Man, I just know I'm gonna have my fairy tale ending. I can feel it. <laughs> And to everybody else, if you truly do care about Terrell, you will help him get the help he needs because I I believe he has borderline personality disorder and that can only be diagnosed professionally. So with that being said, I hope this puts an end to all the rumours and that we can all move on and please stop mentioning him on all my socials. It's just not nice. That's my truth. Thank you for watching.